We're gonna be talking about how you become an economist, but you have a high opportunity cost of time. So let me just give you one of the main takeaways. You can become an economist without getting a job as an economist. In fact, the process of becoming an economist is almost independent of your education or your job. Many people who study economics never become economists. Many of you know I've done a lot of videos on studying economics and I interview people with jobs in economics such as the guy I interviewed at Fortnite on how he uses economics to improve the Fortnite games. But I have never really talked about what it takes to become an economist. And this is a difficult question. So I'm gonna go through in this video and give you an idea of what it means to become an economist. And I think a really good place to start off with is this, the most important economist in the world, and that is the chair of the Federal Reserve, who today is Jerome Powell. The first thing you should notice is that his job title does not have economists in it, but his job requires surveying the economy, understanding how the economy is performing, and responding to economic crises. So there is no doubt that Jerome Powell is an economist, but if we look at his background, we might not have predicted that one day he would hold the most important economist position in the world. He got his bachelor's degree in politics, and then he got a law degree. He spent some time in a legal career, and then he went working in investment banking, but never did he get a degree in economics. And that just shows you if the most important economist in the world that doesn't have a degree in economics, it might not be getting a degree that is the most important step to becoming an economist. In fact, we can just bear this out in your own personal research. Go to indeed.com and look for economists and you can find a pretty wide range of educational backgrounds for someone to become an economist. At times you'll find a PhD. Other times people are looking for master's degrees. Other times they're just looking for bachelor's degree with some experience. Let me just give you a warning as you're doing this search. If you're looking for the title economist, of course you're going to find a few more jobs that are biased towards higher degrees of education, like an economist with a PhD or with a master's. And the reason why you're going to see that bias is because often they need some sort of credential as a form of legitimacy. Let me give you my experience. I'm in my last year as an undergraduate and I'm trying to decide if I'm on that path towards becoming a PhD or if I'm going to go and just get a job. And I was talking to an economic consultant. If you ever pay attention to those lawsuits where they're like, oh, these are the damages that are done, or this is how much harm was caused because of a monopoly, those are economic consultants coming in and calculating those figures. This sounds like a possibly interesting career, but as I talked to the economic consultant, he said that sure, you can come in and do work with a bachelor's degree, but there was a ceiling on what you could accomplish with just a bachelor's degree. And that's because when these consultants have to go in and testify in front of a jury about a company like Google or Apple or Facebook, there is a legitimacy that they need to say that they are an expert. And if you can say this is Dr. Paulson coming in and testifying on this economic issue, that brings more legitimacy to it than just this is Mr. Paulson who got a bachelor's degree in economics and he's going to tell you about the harm. Is that a fair thing to do? I don't know. I It probably is unfair. We probably care more about the substance than the title. But when you're in a court of law and you want to make sure that you're getting every edge you can, you're going to make sure that you have people with PhDs. So you could only hit a certain level if you had a PhD in economics. And I imagine that there are other careers that are like this too. But I imagine that a lot of people watching these videos are not interested in reaching the highest level of a really specific niche of literally being an economist. There, I imagine that a lot of you enjoy economics, you're trying to learn more, and you're trying to see what kind of careers are available to you if you continue studying economics. Well, I've done videos on this. I, I went through and showed you all these types of jobs that you could do if you studied economics. And you can go really far without going on and getting a master's or a PhD in economics. Again, look at Jerome Powell. He's occupying the most important economist job in the world without any formal economics training. 
Which actually brings up a good question. Why are you allowed to become an economist without studying economics? Does that mean that the classes are just worthless? Are we not developing any skills in them? Well, one reason is that the career of an economist is actually a pretty new development. We're seeing a lot of big companies hiring economists for the first time. In fact, when big companies are hiring economists, this becomes big news. So if you look, there are these headlines a couple years ago about how Uber and Amazon were hiring economists and how this was like this really big deal and a secret to their success. That's encouraging because that means this is a fast growing profession with a lot of demand and they're so desperate to hire people. They're taking whoever they can get and saying, learn what you need to on the way. Maybe down the line, we're gonna start seeing people calling for regulation or licensing for economists. I hope not. That's not something that I want in life. I hope that we allow people to come in and become economists. But then that, that, that gets to that point right there, right? Become economists. What does it take to become an economist? Well, let me ask you a different question that will get us to the same conclusion. What does it take to become a writer? What does it take to become a YouTuber? We don't have formal requirements to be a writer. If you, J.K. Rowling studied English in college, but it's not like that was what made her a writer. It was the fact that she created books. YouTube is another great example. There are plenty of people who are amazing videographers. They edit well. They understand how to get those good shots, but they don't create enough videos to actually become YouTubers. Well, I think writers, YouTubers, and economists have something in common. You become these things through your habits. You need to develop a habit of writing to become a writer. You need to develop a habit of creating videos to become a YouTuber. And you need to be create a habit of thinking like an economist to become an economist. That's why you don't need your title to be an economist to actually become an economist. And that's why a lot of people who study economics never actually become economists because they fail to develop the habits that create good economists. So what kind of habits do economists have? Well, economists think seriously about incentives and constraints. They think about what are the things that motivate behavior and what are the things that stop behaviors and how do people work around those to achieve the things they want in life. Not only do they think about incentives and constraints, they incorporate those into an economic model that creates testable predictions about behavior. That's why your professors are always trying to teach you these models is because they want to give you a tool set for testing different hypotheses. I would love to know which habits you think economists need to develop. Let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll do a video about how you can develop those habits. But an example of those habits that I've exhibited is this video where I looked at this $4 million puzzle in the box office trying to understand why Twilight made more money than Harry Potter in movie theaters. Also, I have some ideas on how we can stay connected in this growing community. So subscribe so you can hear updates when those come out.